This video is to review an issue we are seeing when customers install their new Reactor and Reactor 3 high flex whip hoses. We have recently seen a number of warranty claims citing loose fittings and issues with leakage near the fitting and restricted flow. Upon reviewing these return hoses, we are seeing a common installation mistake that is causing these issues. So I want to review with you the proper installation method. First, let me start out by explaining the construction of the new high flex whip hoses. In order to provide a lightweight hose with high flexibility that customers desire, the raw materials used in the hose needed to be changed. Previous whip hoses used the same thermoplastic hose with nylon core that was used on all the standard spray hoses. But with the new high flex whip, the hose being used now was changed to a stainless steel braided hose with PTFE core tube. This type of hose provides high temperature resistance with a high pressure rating that is also highly flexible Due to the increased flexibility, the hose will easily twist when turning a fitting that has been crimped onto the hose. While this is a positive attribute when spraying, this flexibility is causing some customers to think the hose fittings need to be further tightened upon installation. The confusion is specifically happening on the female end of the hose because of the design of the fitting. The female fitting is a swivel fitting with a standard hex underneath the swivel. The proper way to connect the whip hose to the spray hose is to just tighten the swivel fitting but we are seeing customers putting a wrench on the hex and trying to tighten this fitting. One of the characteristics of this hose is that it twists easily if improperly tightened. As you can see, this fitting turns very easily. You can keep turning it and it never seems to tighten. But be aware, when you are turning this fitting, it is also twisting the stainless steel hose under the insulation. This is the nature of the stainless steel hose with Teflon core tube. With each turn, the hose continues to twist. Let me cut away the outer insulation of the hose to show you the result. Here you can see the damage that was done to the hose. This is the damage that was causing the reported hose leaks and flow restrictions. In order to help eliminate this mistake from being made, we have made some construction changes to our whip hoses. Now on the swivel end of the whips, we are running the self-sealing silicone tape up and over the base hex fitting. We are then covering the silicone tape with either red or blue electrical tape. Not only will this tape cover the hex, to hopefully prevent someone from thinking they can put a wrench on it to tighten it, but it also adds stiffness to this joint and doesn't allow the hose to twist easily if someone did attempt to tighten this fitting. Please share this video with your technicians, service people, salesmen, or end users to prevent this issue in the future. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to Graco's technical support team.